So this is my day 19. So this is my day 20 report, and I'm in the middle. So this is my day 20 report, and I'm in the middle of day 21, which is the end of week three of this 30-day challenge. Yesterday, uh, day 20, I ate one meal, I, and that was one pound, slightly more than a pound, because my hamburger is coming from a local processor, not a factory, and the, the weights are not exact. But anyway, it was one pound of ground beef and four fried eggs, and that was it. That was my meal. I ate it at about three yesterday afternoon, and it had been 24 hours, right at, give or take 30 minutes, 24 hours since my last meal. So uh, this morning I weighed, and it was quite disappointing. And uh, so I, I, I'm at a place where uh, I'm... I'm I'm, I'm battling to not be discouraged, but I will say uh, that two days ago, two days ago, my weight was down. I started at 277. Two days ago, my weight was 270.5. Today, two days later, my weight is at 273. Now, I know that's, that's fluid fluctuation, but I'm sick and tired of it. I really am. I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm sick of it. And uh, I, I really believe that the next time that I, I dump some fluid and I get on the scale that I'll be below 270.5. I have people commenting to me that they can tell that I'm losing weight. And uh, I weighed yesterday at a medical facility that I go to periodically and weigh. And on their scale, I was, I was uh, down significantly last Monday. Today is Saturday. I was I was significantly down Monday, and then yesterday I was back there, and I was one pound down from Monday on their scale. My scale didn't show that. My scale didn't show that. So, so uh, I have been for the most part. Excuse me. I, I'm drinking water like crazy. I have been, for the most part, the last week or so, just eating one meal a day, and that was at three o'clock in the afternoon. And uh, you know, I am, I am, I am a YouTube worm, and I'll dive into the wormhole, the rabbit hole of YouTube, tr trying to find somebody that can give me some direction as how to do this. Now, now, listen, there's everybody's an expert. The comments, thank you for your comments, but some of the comments that I get are from people who, you know, they want to they want to sound like an expert, but they're not doing a YouTube channel. They're not, you know, they don't, I don't know what their background is. And so, for instance, I read a comment the other day that said that carnivore diet is not a weight loss diet. Well, right and wrong, the carnivore diet is a weight loss diet because it is a it is a fat burn diet and if you burn fat if you burn a lot of fat even if you're building muscle you're going to lose some weight and uh, YouTube is just full of people who are losing weight and then I know people that are not on YouTube I know one other pastor who says that he lost 150 pounds on carnivore in five months. And that's incredible. That's incredible. If he did that with pure carnivore, that's incredible. And uh, so, so it is a weight loss diet and that it is a fat burn diet. Now, I understand that carnivore has, there, there are about three different reasons why you go on a carnivore diet. One is uh, as an elimination diet to because you have auto, autoimmune uh, 
problems and, and you're trying to find out what foods you're eating uh, to that, that's causing you to have inf inflammation or causing you to be depressed or cranky or, or whatever. So some people go on the carnivore diet just for that reason. The other reason is, is that bodybuilders and, and people pumping weights and people that are not overweight with a lot of fat, but they're trying to build up their muscle. I know people that are doing this. They don't need to lose a, they don't need to lose an ounce. I know a man right now, he doesn't need to lose an ounce, but he's on the carnivore diet because he wants to, he wants to bulk up and it'll do that. And it's also a fat burn diet. And that's honestly, most of the people that I, that I have viewed on YouTube are uh, on this plan to lose weight. So that's me. Now, there's no doubt that, that carnivore has, has, has benefited me in several ways. One is I just feel better. I feel better. Sleeping better. Uh, my, my, I don't seem to have as much brain fog. Uh, I'm not battling, you know, being down in the dumps or feeling depressed or being grouchy. I mean, I have my days. I, I still have my days. Had, I had one yesterday. Uh, but... Uh, I feel better. I'm doing the cold plunge showers now, and that seems to help even that it seems to help even more. And I feel better. I really do. I feel like I'm getting stronger. I'm doing some exercises uh, in the morning in the house, and uh, I shared about those in my morning routine video that that was up just prior to this one or maybe two prior to this one. And, uh, and so I'm doing some exercises. I feel like, I feel like I'm, I can feel my muscles toning up. I know muscle weighs more than fat. I know that. I know that my bone density is getting better. I know that. But I have got a significant amount of fat in my midsection that I want to I want to get rid of. People notice that I'm losing weight. They notice it in my face. They notice it in my neck. Uh, they've noticed it in my legs. Awesome. I'm waiting for this fat in the middle of my body to start burning. So I'm I'm battling just a little bit of a discouragement, but, but I've decided that for my official weight of my uh, at day 21 interval that I'm going with what I was two days ago which was 270.5 and that would be a uh, six, that would be a grand total of 6.5 pounds lost in the last 21 days. Do I hope that holds? Yes. Would I like to lose weight just a little bit faster? Yes and yes. So I keep I keep looking and I found a young man, a young couple, the carnivore couple, I think is the name of their channel. And, and I will acknowledge right from the very beginning that they are significantly younger than me. Age has a lot to do with it. I think he's 23. I'm 63. And I know that I know, don't, don't lecture me. I know that age has something to do with it. But he's the only one, he's, he's the only video that I found that said I lost 100 pounds and he, he lost 100 pounds in 10 months, months and this is exactly what I ate practically every day. But I think what most people are probably wondering is what exactly were you eating? Right, so 90% of the time what I was eating is I usually would fast breakfast, so I wouldn't eat breakfast. I'd usually have black coffee, maybe some heavy whipping cream in it. And then for lunch every day, I'd have six scrambled eggs. And then for dinner, I usually have about a 16 to 18 ounce steak, whether it was ribeye or New York strip. Then on dinners, when I ran out of steak, I would have about a pound of burgers, so yeah. ground beef. And that's pretty much it. And so I think for the next week or so, I'm going to adopt his eating plan. And his eating plan was, now he didn't do breakfast, he did lunch and dinner, supper. I'm gonna do a late breakfast and a mid-afternoon meal. But meal number one is going to be six scrambled eggs. And then meal number two is gonna be one pound of beef, either ground beef or a steak. And six scrambled eggs, number one, 
one pound of ground beef, number two, and that's going to be for the next week. That's what I'm going to eat. Now I've already started. And let me just tell you this, Felicia, my beautiful wife, started ketovore. She's a ketovore about eight days ago. Well, right at the first, right at, I think it was January the 2nd. And uh, she's lost seven pounds. Now I know she's probably losing some water weight. I didn't have that weight loss in the, in the beginning of my carnivore, but anyway, I'm whining. Uh, and, and so she, she's doing well, but anyway, this morning I, I, I just decided I, I was so distraught over the scale that it did, that I wasn't motivated to be stricter. I was inclined to do something that I wouldn't normally do. And I did is, is in that when I scrambled those six eggs, I scrambled those six eggs in one half stick of butter and some bacon grease that would have been left behind. And those eggs sopped up all that gooey butter and all that. I mean, when I got through cooking those six egg, eggs, there was no grease left in that pan. So inside of those six eggs was a half a stick of butter and some bacon grease that was left over from cooking cooking bacon. I also cooked bacon this morning. We had three of our grandchildren spending the night. And when I got up this morning, I went ahead and cooked up some bacon so that when they all got up and Felicia was making those kids pancakes, which I tried to get them just to eat eggs and bacon, but anyway, they're kids. Uh, and, and so uh, I cooked some bacon, and uh, uh, I think I ate four slices of bacon with my six eggs, and I put just a, 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 a shred, shredded cheddar cheese. I know the shred is not the best, but I just grabbed some, about that much, and I put it on my eggs. So that's what I did this morning. This afternoon, I will eat one pound of hamburger. And uh, I'm drinking a ton of water today. And so I'm hoping that in the morning, I'm, good, I'm getting on the scale every day. I know you're not supposed to weigh every day. I know. I know it would probably be better for my emotions to just weigh once a month, once a week. But I think I take, a day, I take disappointment better if it happens on a day and then the next day. It's anyway, so this is day 21, did I say? Day 21, and uh, I'm going to keep sharing these videos because I made a commitment to do it for these 30 days, and uh, we'll see where I'm at at the end of 30 days. I don't think I'm going to show you my pound of hamburger this afternoon, but, but believe me when I say for my second meal, I'm going to eat one pound of hamburger. That's it. All right.